Coach, um, obviously it's bittersweet for you every time you play at Liberty. Um, can you give me uh, your assess your assess on the game tonight? What do you think uh, you guys can do better um, to try to get this one today? Could have been better defensively. Could have done some things better in the second half, you know. Um, and so could I, as their coach. First one on your left, Howard. Coach, uh, just in terms of what Kennedy has been able to do, you know, there's been a lot of focus on, obviously, Angel's consistency, and that's really significant in and of itself. But what is the most important part of what Kennedy is doing? You know, is it her ability to get to the rim and finish? Is it the fact that she is putting up these numbers every night? You know, what is it that is making her particularly important for the Sky team? You know, she's just doing what we ask her to do. Uh, she probably picks and, and chooses her times when she goes. Um, of course, now defenses are, are loading quite a bit. They know her speed, her quickness of getting to the rim. Uh, they're loading a little bit, so now she's trying to make sure that she's able to find open players, and that's that's the next step. That's the next step of being able to read what defenses are doing. And in terms of the scoring part of it, because like you said, you've been asking her to do more. You had you had her coming off the bench, now you have her starting. Defense is loading up on her, and they're not stopping her from getting to the rim and finishing. But in your mind, are you looking at assist numbers? Like, what is sort of the next way that you're evaluating how she gets there? Well, just like I said, now she has to find. She's uh, the defenses are loading. Now she has to find what is open. Right. What is she creating? What do you see? Um, and one thing I know about her, she'll go in there. And she'll uh, she start to see what we're asking, and she'll she'll try to get it done. Thank you. Same on your left, Doug. Hey, coach. What did it mean to you when they honored you at the start of the second quarter? All your former teammates come over and mobbed you and from that standpoint. And also to hear that this was the biggest crowd in the Barclays history for Liberty tonight with your team being here. Well, it means a lot. It's a lot of, it's a lot of love uh, with all of us. We love one another, you know, way away from the game of basketball. Uh, we still stay connected. Um, we built a true sisterhood, a true family. And the love is genuine, the love is real. Um, and when you feel it, it's, it's an amazing feeling. When you have an opportunity to see one another and kind of reminisce a little bit, and then to be able to do something like this in front of such an amazing crowd here, um, it's beautiful, it's, it's an awesome feeling. It, it really is, I love, I love those young women um, with all my heart, and they know that, they know that. So the love that we share is really real. First one on your right. Uh, Coach, DJ Hardy in Chicago State of Mind Sports. Uh, Cardoso only played 20 minutes tonight with no minutes in the fourth. So I just wanted to ask you, did you... in the fourth. Huh? She played in the fourth. Oh, well, she played 20 minutes. So I just wanted to ask, like, did you prefer to flow the game with the lineup you had out there? That's normally what happens. Normally what happens is he was playing extremely well, so he didn't want to break her rhythm. It had nothing to do with, with Camilla being out or not on the floor. Camilla's doing a heck of a job for us. Hell of a job. Way more than what most people think. Second row on your right. Hi. With uh, Reese breaking double doubles, Ricky Sacks um, doing so much for women's basketball, what is she doing in the community in Chicago? She's um, always out. She's giving of her time. Um, she loves people. She loves sharing. Um, I think most people go away from all of that and speak more about the basketball side, but there's a human side too. Of, I want to be able to give who she is to most people that she's around. So she does get out and to be a part of people. Just to share time. And when you share your time, you're sharing a lot. Uh, Coach, I can run that again. John Quill had a uh, absolutely dominant game. Uh, what went into the uh, game plan with your young front court? What were some of the words of wisdom that you gave going up, going up against this last matchup? Well, she's a. Uh, she is who she is. Mike Quill is a heck of a basketball player. We missed some defensive assignments, but the message to the team is I'll be better for them. That's the message, plain and simple. First round, your left. Okay. Just following up on that and, and your opening comment, I mean, you said you, there were some things you thought you could have done better. What were some of those things? Uh, um, so what I share with the team, that's the inside of the room thing. But I don't mind holding my own self accountable because I will believe that. And real quick as a follow-up, were you surprised that Kim and, and Sue were here, or did you know that they were coming and did they give you the heads up? No, I'm surprised. Okay. I, uh, 
It's happy to see them. We, we, we stay connected. We all stay connected. So it's a beautiful thing to see every one of them. Um, and I know they're having such a wonderful time. Uh, it's a great thing. It's a great thing to just be honored and, and appreciated for what you try to bring to the game and what you try to bring to the city because the city means everything to us. We were, we were grinders. We were grinders just like the city. We wanted to grind like the city, so it was great to see my grinders. Last year in person, we'll go to front row on your right. Uh, I just want to know, I saw Angel limping off the court at one point. She did play again, but is she okay? Yeah, okay? she'll be okay. She's tough. She's tough. She took a hit and um, kind of hurt a little bit there for a second. Uh, everyone says she's okay, so she's okay. And then just one other quick follow-up. I know it's looking a little ahead down the road, um, but I just want to know, there'll, there'll be a break coming up soon um, for you guys, like with the Olympic break after All-Star. Will that be helpful for this team or any plans of anything to focus on during that time? I, know, I don't even know if you're looking that far ahead, but just wondering. Well, I haven't, but um, because I try to go, I'm, I'm a moment person, I'm in the moment. Um, but if you talk about it, yes, any break is always comfortable and, and very good for you, um, for the bodies to rest a minute. And, um, I give you a time to kind of go back and take a look at some things that you probably can correct or add to this team um, because we, oh, we, we're we a very good team and there's a lot of things that we can add, especially having an opportunity to practice a little bit more. Uh, so it, it, that's a great thing uh, and that break could help, you know, could really help. Second row on your right again. Yeah, Coach, just a last question for me. Um, what role does your faith play in helping you get over the tough losses like today? Oh, I'm okay. I've been through this. I've been through this. You just... Well, you stuff to come and you get your butt back to work. That's what I'm going to do. Same row on your right. And uh, piggybacking off the, the upcoming break, um, how did it feel to have one of your players who's leaving and who's also? It's, it's, it's a good thing. It's, it's a really good thing. I'm, uh, I'm pretty big on um, seeing what they're doing and how, how happy they are with this accomplishment. It's really big. Um, but I still think that I had two more All Stars. Third row on your right. Do you think there was anything difficult tactically that Reese found playing against Liberty? Sorry? Do you think there was anything difficult that Reese found playing against Liberty? That Reese found? Yeah, do you think she struggled with anything? No, no, we're, 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 we're learning. We're okay. growing. We're playing against the heck of a basketball team. Let's not forget who they are. You know, they, 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 uh, they have a, a, a chemistry that's unreal. You know, and you know this game is about runs. This game is about running. They had runs of their own. They can get themselves back in. They got the crowd in it. So we will be better at, at making sure we hold our own and learning how to shut a run down and get the run back of y'all, regaining the momentum. We've got time for one on Zoom. Annie, please unmute. Um, just two quick ones. Uh, Angel recorded her 15 consecutive double-double, obviously. Um, how far do you think she could take this streak? Um, it's all up to Angel, you know, and the work that she puts in out there. She's um, she goes hard, just like every player on this team does. She goes hard. She's not that out there for records. She's out there. She's out there for wins. You know, we all are out there for wins. And um, she put in that work, and it just so happens every time you take a look at the stat sheet, there she is again in a double double. I'm sure she would um, want the win more so than just the double double. And then when it comes to Sabrina, y'all held her to two in the first half. Second, obviously, she went off. What did you feel like was the biggest difference defensively in terms of? Um, um, the team's inability to stop her. Oh, well, yeah, stay connected to her. She has any, any space that she gets, she has a quick trigger. Uh, she can shoot it deep. So we have to stay connected. Wherever she goes, you have to go. Um, and kind of gave a little bit of space and kind of got a little bit of rhythm. Uh, sometimes when shooters like that get a rhythm, it doesn't matter who's there. You know, they feel like they can make whatever shot they take. Any thank last questions so oh, in person you. for Coach? All right, thank you. Appreciate you guys.